vous pratiquez. OK? Because obviously these words sound the same. After finishing, for example, the après avoir fin, give me the past, fin, fini. Lovely, well done. Après avoir fini, before finishing, avant de, give me the long form, finir. Spot on, avant de finir. And equally, how would I say before finishing it? Have I got a long form? Yes. So how would I say before finishing it? Avant, avant de, de le venir. Finir. finir. Lovely. And those of you that have said, oh, but Luke's taught me a de and a le become a du. The one time in French this doesn't happen is when your le represents something. So before practicing it, for example, to change it, avant de le pratiquer. Lovely. So excellent. So after practicing, après avoir pratiqué, or even after practicing it, because like I said, your little words go before the have it. Yep. Yeah. It could be je l'ai pratiqué or après l'avoir pratiqué. Yep. Lovely. Um, My confidence grew. Good. So let's say, let's use the verb to become because it's a verb we don't use enough. Devenir. Devenir. Well done. So what verb is in the middle of devenir? Venir. So give me he came in three words. Il, il est, est venu. Excellent. Il est venu. Il est venu. Il est venu. So we're going to have il est venu. Il est devenu. Now swap this for my French became. Mon français. Lovely. Devenu. So this is something I'm talking about with Ginny. With my videos, you will have il est, whatever, il a, ils ont, ils sont. You must get used to swapping the e for another word. But because the, the majority of times, that's exactly what will happen. Okay, so give me my French became again. Mon français est devenu. Lovely, um, lovely. Now, I bet it became, ça c'est devenu, that it became, or il est devenu, plus facile. My French improved. Now, let's look at the verb to improve. Okay. The verb to improve, okay, I'm going to do this visually for you, so you can see if you can do this, do this without the written, writing. Say for me, there's always a girl in every school, in fact I used to teach a girl called Emily Ray, who was an absolute wonder, and I really miss her. But I used to tell the story that imagine the girl in school, let's call, say her name is Emily Ray, or Amelia Ray, and she wants to, um, she has to improve on everybody's score. So say her name for me, Amelia Ray. Améliorer. Now let's make it a bit more French. Améliorer. Améliorer. Okay? So now let's just say, uh, so if you want to improve, so can, could you improve something else? Could you improve your French? Yes. yes. Could you improve, you know, office policy on something? Yes. yes. Okay? You can improve your recipe for this. So if you're improving yourself, it needs to be re Flex. Lovely. So the verb to improve is s'améliorer. So if you say my French is improving, it has to be my French is improving itself. So, mon français, what's, what's the core going to be? Of améliorer, knock off A, mon français s'améliore. Good. My French was improving, mon français s'améliore. Right. Lovely. My French got better. So, what's the poetry for il? Je me suis tuté, il sait. Lovely. So, mon français sait. Past word of améliorer? Améliorer. Okay, now what pronunciation is going to happen between say, the T and améliorer? Set. So, mon français c'est beaucoup améliorer, mon français c'est améliorer. Okay? To get better. Yeah? Lovely. Excellent. So, tell me what made you decide. Qu'est-ce que. Alors, quelle était l'influence? What was the decision? Pourquoi est-ce que tu as. Con... Pourquoi est-ce que tu as décidé de continuer à étudier? Why did you decide to continue to study? Um, parce que mm -hmm. um, un jour très bien un jour masculin un jour oui. uh, j'espère so one day I hope oui ouais habiter alors so give me I pour would habiter good 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 now um, I would let's go um, let's knock it up a level I would love to live in France what's the verb to live and give <coughs> me the one with the door in it Ador, adore adore yeah, adore. Adore. Okay, you know aimer, so let's use adore. Oh, okay. So I would love. J'adore. Now pause. J'adore. J'adore. Breathe in through your nose. You were right. Breathe in through your nose. J'adore. J'adore. Lovely. So what's Ginny very, very, very successfully done? She knows that a will or a would is going to go into the future. Neat future. Ray raron endings, yeah. Messy future. A and the ion, the ie. Go and have a look at the future videos. Go and have a look at the conditional video. Okay? So, j'adorerais, I would love, to live. Habiter. Lovely, it's the second verb in the long. Give me, I would love to be able to live. J'adorerais. Uh, pu. Second verb, pour, pouvoir. 
Abby, Abby Tid? Uh, I, would love, um, I would love to be able to live. You're going to give me lots of infinitives. Okay. J'adorerais. J'adorerais uh, pouvoir habiter. Lovely. In France. En France. Therefore, Donc, it's a good idea. C'est une bonne idée. Lovely. C'est une bonne idée. Idée. People idée. worry about this idea. We're not going, we're going idée. Lovely. Idée. Now, here, here Ginny's going to show off what she knows about getting into a verb. So, it's a good idea to learn. What's my verb to learn? Apprendre. What's going to bounce me up to the to learn? De. So, give me it's a good idea to learn. C'est une bonne idée d'apprendre. D'apprendre. Lovely. Uh, this language, the language is feminine. So, how am I going to say this language? Set. Spot on. Okay, you've got all these words. Sa, remember, sa, sans sa, se, with the S, is about... Sans sa se is his or hers. With the C, yeah, se, remember if you look at the recently uploaded video, video, video on, um, on demonstrative articles, so on demonstrative um, uh, adjectives, so this, 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 okay? So, um, c'est une bonne idée d'apprendre cette langue. Give me it's a good idea to learn. C'est une bonne idée, idée d'apprendre. Now, Give me it's a good idea to learn it. Have I got a long form there? Yes, I have. Yes. So where's the it's going to go? C'est une bonne idée de, de l'apprendre. Spot on, Ginny. C'est une bonne idée de l'apprendre. It's a good idea. She didn't say l'apprendre, take it. She said it's a good idea to learn it. C'est une bonne idée de l'apprendre. Give me it's a good idea to do it. And if we don't know the gender, we assume masculine it. It's a good idea to do it. Bonny pronunciation. Bon idée. Idée. De, de to do it. La to do it this time. Le, do. Ah, le do. Fait. Verb. I don't know. I'm getting lost. Yes, you do. What's the what? Ah, oh, ça fait le fait. Fair. 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 Yeah. What fair. do you have in oh, verbs? Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. We have an R. Brilliant. Okay. Excellent. Next question. Well, well, Benedict. Okay. Random question. Let me think. Okay. Um, Est-ce que tu as d'autres amis? Est-ce que tu est-ce que tu connais les gens? Est-ce que tu connais les personnes qui apprennent le français avec toi? Est-ce que tu as des amis? Qui apprennent le français. Do you have friends who are learning French? No. Okay, so save me Luke. Let's knock it up a level. Luke. Luke. I have. J'ai. I haven't. Je n'ai pas. Good, so what's I haven't je any? What's uh, my of it phrase? En. So if I've got je, thank you, j'en ai, ai pas. pas or je, strictly speaking, which I'm not a massive user of myself, I must confess, je n'en ai pas. What am I saying? Je n'en ai pas. Okay? Good. Or, can I stress the negative? J'ai, I haven't got any friends. Okay? Who are learning French? I'm sure Ginny's got friends. Okay, so I haven't. J'ai ou je n'ai pas. D'ami. Okay, people forget when you have the negative, it's pas de. I haven't got any money. Je n'ai pas d'argent. Okay, not. So I have the money. J'ai l'argent. I haven't got any money. Je n'ai pas d'argent. If you say that I haven't got the money that I owe you, or that you owe me, je n'ai pas l'argent, that's fine. Good. Final thing then, with this little negative, remember we've got ne, optional, orally, and aucun, or aucune, plus the noun. Okay? So give me no money, money's masculine. What, no. what does that mean? So basically, okay, so this is something Ginny's not come across. So this is basically, it means none or any, I haven't got any. Okay, so it exists on its own. So no money would be aucun argent, because money is masculine. No idea would be aucune idée. So you swap it for pado. It swaps. So he has no money. Notice I don't say il a pas aucun argent. Aucun means no money. Obviously, some people say, il n'a aucun argent. Yeah, il n'a aucune idée. Okay? So, this word is just another negative version that we do not need to obsess about the know with. Okay? So, say for me, no problem. Say the word problem. 
problème. Que lovely pronunciation problem. Lovely problem. Lovely. It's masculine, believe it or not, but even though the M ending, because it comes from the Greek, and we've got anything that tends to be the most, so un système, un problème. Okay, Spanish does the same thing, so un problème. Look, lovely. People used to say in French, men, find, men cause problems and women find solutions. So masculine problem, un problème, une solution. But I would never say such a thing. So give me a problem. Un problème. Un problème. Give me no problem. Oh, oh, aucun. Aucun problème. Aucun problème. Lovely. So this is this exists on its own. Aucun problème. But if you said I haven't got um, any, I haven't got any. Um, what could we have? Uh, I haven't got any. What haven't we got any of? Je n'ai aucune idée. Je n'ai aucun argent. Je n'ai aucun, euh, ben, aucun problème, aucun... Anything you haven't got. Um, euh, aucune... Time. Time. Enfin, j'ai pas de temps, j'ai aucun temps. Le mot tend à j'ai pas de temps. Anything that you could physically possess, you would use aucun with. And it would be used on its own. So, next question. Okay? So, you haven't got any friends. So, tell me in French. Say, no, Luke, I haven't got any French, uh, friends. I'd like to know more people who are learning French. No, 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 whatever. Just talk to me around the subject and try and talk to me about it in French. Uh, no, Luke. Mm -hmm. uh, J'en je ai pas. J'en ai pas. Ou je n'ai au... aucune. Aucun. Aucun ami. Okay, Aucun yeah. ami. Okay. Um, mais je voudrais mm -hmm. uh, trouver. So, give me, I would like to find okay. some. Je voudrais. Or, uh, uh, what's my sum word? Uh, du. En. Because ah. so Jimmy's raised a good point. She's raised a very good point. This is what confuses people with on. Okay? So sum with the word will be de plus the. So for example, we've also got quelque. Yeah, you can have an S, okay? So some sweets. What's sweet? Les bonbons. What's les children? Les enfants. So what's the de plus the I need for children? Des enfants. Des enfants. Which is short for de plus le. What's ca what's uh, caf I can't speak English. What's coffee? Café. What's de coffee? Le café. So de plus le forms du, du café. café. Du this café. is some. Okay. What would be cream? What's the word for cream? Crème. Lovely. La crème. So how would I say some cream? De plus de. De crème. De plus de. De le. De, de, la, de la crème. And as you know, de la stay separate. So this is the same collection of words if you say, I'm going to, je vais au, à la, or au, A-U-X. I'm coming from, I'm coming from the cinema. Je viens du cinéma. I'm coming from the station. Je viens de la gare, train station. Je viens de la station, uh, tube station. Um, je viens des stations. I'm coming back from the stations. So the same combo, de plus, so let's make them clear, de plus le equals du, de plus le equals de, de plus la stays the same and is de la. Not de la, which is Italian, yeah, okay? So, uh, lovely. But, if you're saying some, when you're not bothering with the de, okay, so I would like some, some apples. Je voudrais... Des pommes, or quelques pommes. If you already knew you were talking about apples, you could say, j'en voudrais, I would like some. So say for me, there are a few people, or some people. So there are, yeah. lovely, a few. Give me a few and some. So what's the word for some? De, de. De. Il y a des personnes, de lovely. Personne. There are a few, il y a que, que, quelques, quelques lovely personnes, lovely. Lovely. If I said there are a few of them, my of them word, what's my of them word? De. No, my of, de. because this is when I've got rid of de plus the thing is now gone, it becomes oh. good. And where's that going to go? Iliana. Okay, Ion. on is going to go there. Okay, lovely. Okay. okay, now I will do a video on this on. On is going to go where you would normally have a de. Okay, so for example, I look after, je m'occupe. De l'enfant, je m'occupe de l'enfant. I look after the children, uh, the child. I look after it, of it, je m'en occupe. 
Okay, on goes where.